I'm announcing today that starting tomorrow, we'll be putting in new targeted COVID-19 measures in place to help protect the health system and to drive cases down. I know that many people uh, don't want to see additional measures. And I know that we're all tired of this pandemic and are desperate to just move on. We still have many weeks to go until we reach broader community protection. The variants are a new opponent and we need to do more now to safeguard our health system and buy us time to get more Albertans protected with their first doses. At the same time, we'll not penalize areas of the province where little uh, or modest spread is occurring. Albertans have said loud and clear that this isn't fair, and we've heard them. And that is why, effective tomorrow, we are implementing targeted public health measures for hotspots across the province. These are communities or regions where there are more than 350 active cases per 100,000 people and that have a floor of at least 250 total active cases. So this would include uh, Fort McMurray. It also includes the cities of Edmonton, Calgary, Red Deer, Grand Prairie, Airdrie and Lethbridge, along with Strathcona Council, uh, County. Pardon me. A list will be posted online. This means that we'll be moving all junior and senior high schools to at-home learning in these communities starting this upcoming Monday. It also means that we'll be closing indoor fitness and indoor sports effective tomorrow. Once they come into place, these mandatory restrictions will remain in effect for a minimum of two weeks, even if the municipality drops below the threshold at any point. After two weeks, communities will go back to the provincial measures, currently step one, as soon as they dip below the 350 uh, case rate per 100,000. Health officials will continue closely to monitor the spread of COVID-19 to assess how all of this is working. We'll also work with restaurants to increase stringency of verification that members of parties uh, for patio service are from the same household or are the two identified close contacts of individuals who live alone. Where needed, we will implement a curfew where case rates are significantly high, specifically if cases are 1,000 or more per 100,000 population, and in cases where the municipal government requests it. These restrictions are so that are in target areas where cases are highest. If your community is not seeing high levels of spread, you won't see change. And I know that it's been a long road. I know many people will not want to take, take another step in, that, in this direction of more stringency. But we must. AHS and law enforcement will continue taking enforcement and issuing fines for noncompliance. And to ensure Albertans take these fines seriously, we are adding additional backstops with stronger fine collection and, uh, and actions with restrictions at registry services. So that means if you are given a fine and you're, you're not take, take, taking it seriously, you don't pay it, uh, you will uh, not be able to, for example, renew your driver's license and there will be other implications with respect to registry services. These fines won't affect the majority of folks who are following the rules and are doing their part to keep our community safe. But rather, this is for the people who are taking the pandemic seriously and continue to put uh, others at risk by not following the public health orders in place. I don't want to be standing here two weeks from now uh, having to bring in uh, uh, something like a, a, a hard lockdown on Alberta that we've managed to avoid as a province in the past year because people don't respond to this call. We see the numbers starting to come down in other provinces and including other provinces with similar restrictions in place. We, if they can do it, we certainly can here in Alberta. Uh, so uh, we, hope, what we hope that today's measures, they are a layering of uh, protection on top of so many other rules and measures that are already in place. We hope that that will make the difference.